Thou art the potter, I'm the clay. Mold me and make me into the person that you've called me to be, Jesus. Lead and guide me. Light my path and draw me to you. I want a personal, intimate relationship with Jesus. And let me just let me just tell you something. The Lord says, you can't be lukewarm for I will spew you out of my mouth. I will say, depart from me. I never knew you. People will say, well, Lord, didn't I prophesy in your name? Didn't I speak your Bible? Didn't I know every word in your book? Did you know Jesus? Did Jesus know you? Did you make an attempt to have a relationship with him? Did you? Did you? Or did you just think that going to church and knowing his word and then telling people about his word was going to get you into heaven without actually having a relationship with Jesus? Because... Let me tell you something. It says that Jesus tore the veil when he was raptured. There was an earthquake and it tore the veil. It's a picture of Jesus tearing down the barrier so that we can become, that way we can come boldly boldly to the throne room of Jesus. If we need something, if we are lost and confused, you're hurt. You can come to Jesus and say, Jesus, I need you. Jesus, here's what's wrong. Jesus, I need you. You're, you're not only coming boldly to him, but you're coming with a humble heart who loves Jesus and wants to have that relationship. And this is one thing I ask, ask Jesus every day. Grow my relationship with you. I want to be closer to you. I want to know you more. The closer you get to Jesus, the more your life changes. You don't have to know the, the word of God word for word. You don't have to. You don't have to know everything. You just need to know the love of the Lord. And the Lord will reveal himself to you. And put on your heart what needs to be known the most. Sorry, I had to check on my dog. She was at dinner, making some weird noises, and I just wanted to check on her and make sure she was okay. You know what? There's a reason why God is called our Heavenly Father. Because He, and there's a reason why He wants us to be childlike. Because He's our Heavenly Father. We're called His children. When we stumble, we fall, we mess up. When we're happy, when we're sad. Like, if you're so happy, like, let's say you just won the race or you aced your test. And you had asked Jesus to help you with studying and helping you with figuring out a way to win the race pass the test you can come to him and be like jesus oh my gosh thank you so much for helping me like i can't believe it like he, he wants you to be like jesus oh my gosh yay i mm, thank you so much for helping me like ah or another picture is like you know we know jesus is coming soon to rapture his children rapture his children like yes so, you're like a little kid just waiting on, let's say, let's say you're like a little kid waiting on your dad to come home from work. And mom's in the kitchen and she's cooking dinner and she says, well, dad's almost here and then we'll eat in a little bit. And you're just like, ah, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up and get home. Or you know your dad's bringing home a present or my dogs, they go nuts. Like my husband, that it's like it's like clockwork. They know 
when he's supposed to be home. And if he's not pulling up in that driveway within a specific time frame, they start to get worried, scared, and they start to act out a little bit. But when they see my husband pull up in the driveway, it is like... It's like the gloves are off and, you know, it, it is what it is. There ain't no changing it. <laughs> I mean, they go freaking insane. And I have to figure out ways to keep them calm. So that my husband can actually walk through the door without being a, you know, a tag. Well, not a tagged. But, you know, overcome with the so much excitement that he's home. And, you know, so we need to be able to come to Jesus and build a relationship with him. Because God wants us to build a relationship with Jesus. Jesus wants us to build a relationship with him. Him going to the cross and dying for our sins was more than just him going to the cross and dying for our sins. He tore the veil. Like we don't have to go to a priest and confess our sins to a priest. If we mess up, you know, it's like a little kid spilling milk. They spill milk or they break something. They could be like, oh, I'm so sorry. And you know, that's how kids are. They're like, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. We can be like, oh my gosh, I screwed up. Lord, I'm so sorry. I screwed up. Please forgive me. Oh my gosh, I, I'm so sorry. Please help me never to do this again. And you're talking directly to Jesus. You don't have to wait to go to confession to, to have somebody else go to Jesus for you. I am so grateful for that. I am so grateful for that. I am so happy that Jesus said, it's not about religion. It's about building a relationship with Jesus. But so many people are like, nope, it's not about a relationship with Jesus. It's about religion. Lord, help me not strangle these people today that want to make Jesus about religion instead of relationship. Because relationship is key. Relationship. God and Jesus are begging for relationship. That is what they want from you is a personal relationship. And if you develop the relationship... Everything else falls into place. I'm telling you. The more you build a relationship with Jesus, the easier it gets. The easier overcoming certain situations become because, because you're not trying to do it on your own. You're going to Jesus and you'll... You and Jesus are working it out together for your good and his honor, praise, and glory. So, that's why I don't like it when people say I'm a Christian because it's like, okay, are you a phony baloney Christian or do you actually love Jesus and have a relationship with him and you seek to serve Jesus and you love the Lord with all your heart and you are working to build a better closer relationship with Jesus or are you just saying you're a Christian but yet you want to live by religion like what what kind of Christian are you I mean people use it so vaguely and I hate I hate that when the best, I feel like the best statement in the world that anybody could possibly make is, I am a child of God and Jesus went to the cross at Calvary and he shed that blood and bore all my sins, past, present, and future. Saying you belong to Jesus. How bold is that? 
that you, you can literally say, I am a child of God. He came from heaven to earth. He died on that cross, shed that precious blood, and I belong to him and he belongs to me because I built a relationship with him. Relationship, relationship with Jesus. I feel like this needed to be addressed, and I feel like I addressed it pretty good. A lot of people may say, oh no, it's still all about religion. That's on you. I'd rather have a relationship with my Lord and Savior. And, you know, building a relationship with Jesus, I feel like I respect Him, I honor And I feel like I can do all things through Christ who gives me the strength. I feel like I am being led and guided to have a more deeper understanding. And I feel like I am becoming a better person because I started with relationship and not religion. Get rid of the religion. Start with relationship. And you will just see doors going wide open. And you will just see the flood of Jesus just working in your life. And you'll see that your heart and everything will line up and change to the will that Jesus wants in your life. Like, Alright guys, I'm going to get off here. You guys have a great day. Bye y'all.